Shakurana. You know who your enemies are. Kapala no Shaya. Arabia. But when your enemies begin to wear the face of Delilah. Kaparo Shada. You will begin to call your enemy your friends. Kaparo Shabadia. If the lots of the Philistines showed up before Samson. Samson will chew them like peanut. But then again when they come. In that woman. Do you know that the name of Delilah means delegates. When she comes with her head. All thrown down to one side. With all those things in her eyes. And making her look all good. Charming and seductive. A hey, Samson will go down. Not realizing that your worst enemy. Might not be lost, the loss of the Philistine. But just might be Delilah. Lift up your right hand. Can you turn that Delilah? Can you shut fire? Spiritual life. Today. As we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflection. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. Open your Bibles to the book of Judges chapter 16. And we'll start reading Judges chapter 16. And we'll start reading from verse 4. And I want to briefly speak about the cycle of the spirit of Delilah. We'll read from verse 4 to wherever we're going to stop. Like a mass choir, it is the custom of this house. For us to rise for the reading of God's word, I encourage you to rise. At the count of three, can we read together? One, two, three. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him and see wherein his great strength lied, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven green wits that were never dry, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven green wits which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he break the wits as a thread of tow is broken when it touched the fire. So his strength was not known. And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that were never occupied, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes and bound him therewith and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And there were liars and wait abiding in the chamber. And he pricked them from off his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Samson, He that told thou hast mocked me and told me lies, tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with a pin and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awaked out of his sleep and went away with the pin of the beam and with the web. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death. Then he told her all his heart and said unto her, There had not come a razor upon my head. For being a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he has showed me all his heart. 
Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep on her knees. And she called for a man. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him. And his strength went from him. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. The last verse we're going to read, 21. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass and did grind in the prison house. Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you open our eyes to see all that we need to see that the cycle called Delilah will never prevail over our lives. Father, we ask Keparosha, do what only you can do and have your way, Father. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder, amen. Somebody lift up your right hand before you sit down. Thunder Delilah. Now, you know that I'm not talking about Delilah, a woman. You know what I'm talking about? Any cycle, any representation, any mode, any similitude. People of God, somebody lift up your right hand and shout, Delilah. With a loud voice, can you scream, fire? Let me explain what I mean by this before you take your seat. Let me tell you that lots of the Philistines may not get you. But if they have a Delilah. With the loss of the Philistines, you will be aggressive. But with Delilah, you lay down your guards. Shakurana, you know who your enemies are. But when your enemies begin to wear the face of Delilah, you will begin to call your enemy your friends. If the lots of the Philistines showed up before Samson, Samson would chew them like peanut. But then again, when they come in that woman, do you know that the name of Delilah means delegates? When she comes, comes with her head all thrown down to one side with all those things in her eyes and making her look all good and charming and seductive a hey, Samson will go down not realizing that your worst enemy might not be lost the loss of the Philistine but just might be Delilah lift up your right hand can you turn that Delilah can you shut fire Take your seat in the presence of God. People of God, let me begin this way. You know, Decorosa, in examining the, the cycle called Delilah, let me say this to everyone. The only reason the Philistines will enter and begin to deal with Delilah, the only reason why Delilah will have the privilege and the leisure and pleasure of constantly pressing on Samson, even up to the point of cutting off his locks and sending a man uh, to coming uh, into her house uh, and begin to cut off the locks of his head is because Samson was not in his house. Samson was in Delilah's house. How me touch your neighbor? Touch your neighbor for me. Tell your neighbor, go home. I need you to say it again to your neighbor like you really mean it. Touch your neighbor again. Say, go home. I need you to say it like you really mean it. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Say, Delilah's house is not your house. I want you to say it like you mean it. Say, Delilah's house can never be your house. Has never been your house. If you understand it, can you turn the fire? Now, it's easy for somebody to say back and say, Pastor, but I'm not in Delilah's house. Even this morning, I came from my house. People of God, let me inform you. Whenever you find yourself, by house, I am not just talking about a geographical location. Whenever you find your heart in locations where it should not be whenever you find your feelings in locations where it should not be whenever you find your confession in a location where it should not be Kaparasa, whenever you find your prayer life in locations where it should not be whenever you find your consecrations in locations where it should not be I'm afraid to say to you that the cycle will continue but the day you wake up and tell yourself Jerry go home the day you tell yourself the way I am talking is not the way kingdom men talk go home 
Shabadiara. The way I'm thinking, Akarusa, is not the way kingdom men think. Go home, Kayasha. The way you're anticipating evil, anticipating negativity, is not the way kingdom men anticipate danger. Go home. If Samson had gone home, at least his problem would have been half solved. Am I communicating? I want you to know Samson has always loved women. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Samson loves women. Let me tell you, Delilah was not the first woman. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Samson like big die. So people of God, Samson has always loved women. But the reason why Delilah's own finished him was that he was in Delilah's house. Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor again. Tell your neighbor, whose house are you in? Don't be afraid of your neighbor. You know, some neighbors at this point, they think that you already know where they are coming from. They, 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 that's what some of them are thinking. Hey, I don't know. Some of you who are coming from wrong houses, the Lord is watching you. The Lord, you see the way Delilah used to cut off the lungs of people. Because people of God, you cannot say, I want to serve God. And then I know that you came from a man's house that is not married to you. What are you doing with God? Whatsoever a man so it that he shall reap. Let every man that name it the name of Christ depart from iniquity. When you pack this one at the corner of your mind, but remember that what I'm talking about, whose house am I in? Am I in the house of fear? Kabbalah Jericho back to the house of boldness. Kabbalah Shaya, Galandibea, Asupedea. Am I in the house of trepidation? Am I in the house of negative confession? Whose house am I in? Ekolosha, I need to return back to where? Ekolosha, Endiabasaya, Ekolosha, where I know. That he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Jerry, get back to the house and make all the shire where you and your children are for signs and wonders. Get back to the house where you know that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Who took me to the house of anxiety? Who took me there? I need to go home this morning. Akoshaya, who took me to the house of affliction? Akatoya, I need to go home. Arese, Ashemera, I see Samson in me. Akola, everybody who sees the strength of Samson in you. Akolasha, I encourage you. Pick up your property, pick up your destiny. Go home. Ashataya, I'm done. Staying with fear, I'm done. Staying with shame, I'm done. Staying with negativity. Go home. Am I talking to someone? Tender Belisaria, pick up your box. I'm going home. I hear my name in my house. I'm going home to the place of faith and courage. Ramenesuya, I'm going home to the place where I know. He says, I know the thought that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a future and an expected end. Ramenesha, fear is not my house. Anxiety is not my house. Akalabia Shadaya, Ramenesia, worry is not my house. Akolashaya, Negative confession is not my house. If I keep staying there, the cycle will continue. If I keep staying there, the devil will have the last word. Let me go home like the prodigal son. Allow me to go home. I can see my father. Allow me to go home. It's better in my father's house. Allow me to go home. Somebody shall fire. I'm done staying where the enemy will afflict me. That is why David said it is better that I fall into the hands of God. Let me go home. I know the thought that he thinks towards me. You're not even going to drive me out. Don't let your sin drive you out of his house. Allah, he's my father. I will fail him. I may have failed him, but I will return back to my father. Lord, I'm sorry for being anxious. I'm sorry for worrying. I'm sorry for thinking. I call a shire that I can.
can handle it. I call us. I want to go home to where I can trust you. Depend on you. Hold on to you. You are not a man that you can laugh. Neither are you the son of man that you can repent. Have you said it? Will you not make it good? If you understand it, thunder it louder. Amen. Look at your neighbor for me. Touch your neighbor by the shoulder. Say you're a Samson. Say go home. Tell your neighbor don't stay in Delilah's house. I need you to say it again. Say my neighbor. Say my neighbor. I see the glory of Samson all over your life. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Go home. Let me say this to everyone. You need to understand this. You know there are transactions going on anywhere, everywhere. Whether you want to believe it or not, transactions go on every day, every night. People of God, people are buying and selling destinies. <laughs> you don't want me to go there. Sir, somebody woke up and said, I just had cancer. I woke up and I saw lump. I know that. No, sir, that is not where it started. When you were busy relaxing and being at ease in Zion, they went and did some transaction. You are now the one that will wake up with any. That is why we're saying, as they are busy making the transaction, make sure you have a voice. Make sure you have a voice wherever these things are going on. I cannot wake up one morning and you give me a package I did not order for. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. In heaven, transactions are going on. The demons are making that so people of God that people that transactions going on everywhere now, I don't have all the time so let me get to the bottom of this sir so you see the lot of the Philistines met Delilah I said D let's have a deal with you okay I like the sound of it D let's have a deal with you and then met with her and said you know what we're gonna give you some how much was that 1100 pieces of silver Let's give you some 1100 pieces of silver. And the idea behind this is that we want that guy. We want that guy by all means. Samson did not know that he was a bait. Samson did not know that the woman he loved was going to be the nemesis. People of God, any wicked person, before I go to what I'm saying, any wicked person that has been planted in your life now, that will be planted in your life in the future, that will arise, oh my God, to use your weaknesses against you. As far as Jehovah lives, as they are thinking about it, let the earth fight them. That amen did not sound like you knew I was talking to you. Let the ground that they are standing on open his mouth. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. We are here to reverse cycle. So I am not laughing today. Sama, do you realize that 11 pieces of silver, 1100 pieces of silver meant nothing to Samson? as far as his strength was in that. Did you realize that? So even if you did, if you like, give them 20,000. Uh, give them, uh, what's it called? One million pieces of silver. Oga, if that guy's strength is in that, the transaction you did amounted to nothing. Let me explain it. One thing we will never stop is transaction. One thing you will never stop is them whispering about you. One thing you will never stop is conspiracy. One thing you will never stop because the Bible says, surely they will gather. So sir, they will gather except you are not making progress. Even the small progress you are making, they are even gathering. Even as you are not making progress, they are still gathering. Once you smile, they will gather. Once you walk into the office and say, good morning everyone, they will gather. They must gather but let me tell you when the cycle will continue is when between their transaction and where you are if they steal your strength so sir whether you gave lots of the Philistines gave Delilah 1100 pieces of silver it doesn't matter 
but once Samson loses his strength, the transaction will work. I came to beg you. You can break a cycle today. If you lose your strength tomorrow, the cycle can be recreated. Let me say it again. Even if the lords of the Philistines live their like, let them give one million pieces of silver. If Samson did not say where his strength lie, lie at him, or lied, as the case may be, there's nothing the transaction would do. That no, no, nonsense. We're making your useless transaction. You know, go enter. So when the devil wants to enforce what he has done, he steals your strength. This is when you wake up and you no longer feel like praying. Strength is gone. I beg you, in that season, remember today and remember that pastor said, be careful. There might just be a transaction that happened that the devil wants to execute. Am I communicating? When you are beginning to lose that thing in our sin, don't shy, that makes you enter the car, even if it is five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, keep our show. You're speaking in the Holy Ghost. You're speaking in the Holy Ghost. Sir, ma, I'm begging you. When you lose it, you lose your strength. Their transactions will work. But I came to tell you, let them be transacting. Maintain your strength. Let them be doing what they are doing. Keep firing. Let them be doing what they are doing. Kaparasa. Keep being on the altar of fire. Let them do Kayama Nesiyadosha. Lekuro no Seyara. No matter what is happening, they don't understand. But you are, why are you always on NSPPD every day? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. You don't know what I'm doing. I'm not there because I have a problem or there's something. But if, listen, I am there because I need to maintain my strength. If I lose it, I know some lots of the Philistines have given some Delilahs some things. They are waiting for the day I will lose my strength. They are waiting for the day I will become spiritually weak. They are waiting for the day I will become spiritual. Listen, some of you, you won't even break out of this cycle if you don't get strength. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Kebando shadibala, karande bosuto, sokola apre over your life. Anybody who has lost strength in their inner man, a recupola shadia at the sound of your amen. Let the Lord equip your spirit man with strength. I said, let the Lord equip your spirit man with strength. Let the Lord equip your spirit man with strength. Receive it right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. So, sir, once your strength is on point, let the devil do what he wants to do. Around here, he doesn't enter. But I need to remind you, the last two times that penultimate situation the last situation that carried our brother Samson notice there was a pattern the first few ones didn't have that pattern but the last two ones had it if you read the scripture clearly in the two situations Delilah made sure that Samson was sleeping Delilah made sure that Samson was sleeping. So, even though when he slept the, in the penultimate one, it didn't do him anything. But when he slept the other one, that was when problem came. Sir, what are you saying, Pastor? Delilah wanted him to be unaware of his environment. Delilah wanted him to be in a situation but ignorant of what is going on. Jesus, help me make these ones you've called to me understand what I'm saying. There are some of you in your family, you are ignorant of the spiritual dynamics of your home. The day you will raise trouble is the day it will manifest. Hey, Pastor, you don't know what happened. Two of my siblings at the same time. Sir, it didn't just happen it's been there but you're not letting the Lord tell you what is going on 
You're not praying. You're just praying prayer and there was no revelation. You are not aware of the spiritual dynamics. Lord, in this city that I live in, show me the spiritual dynamics. Lord, in this career that I am in, show me the spirit. Delilah made sure that Samson was unaware of his environment the last two times. I came to beg you. The reason why the cycle will continue is that you are praying, but you are praying the wrong prayer because you are unaware of how to channel your prayer so that it can hit the target. The Bible says we ask and we do not receive because we pray and we pray amiss. Did you hear what I just said right now? Lord, open my eyes. Every cancer is not according to some radical cells. Oh, yes. Every cancer is not. They'll say radical cells. I don't know whether I got it right. I didn't get it. Radical cells, uh, mad cells, and all of that. Every cancer is not by that. Some cancers came from some altars. Whether you like, believe me. Whether you like, don't believe me. Came from some altars. But sir, you might just bring for radical cells when you needed to just call the name of that altar and the priest and the person that went there and you will end it once and for all. Every I don't have money is not because business is bad. The clients are not coming. The clients are not coming. And I get, he said, business is bad. You know, just wait a little. They, they say, you wait like that till you reach December. You need to sit back and ask God, show me what is going on here. Every, we don't marry on time in our family. It's not because you are not fine. It's not because you need to find out the spiritual dynamics. Lay your two hands on your head. Let me make this prayer. At the sound of your amen, I decree and declare, may the Lord open your eyes to what is going on around you. That amen is too weak. It's too weak. It's too weak. It's too weak. Let the Lord open your eyes to what is going on. Whatever is going on with your children, going on with your career, going on with your business. Let the Lord open your eyes. 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 People of God, as I get ready to tidy up, let me say this to you. I need you to understand that Delilah made something. The last straw that broke the camel's back. Anyone, when Delilah saw that I am close to my target, he brought something and put something's head on her laps. Something way now. Digana. right on the laps of Delilah and while the head was there some men here understand what I'm talking about that is your biggest problem right on the laps of Delilah they will touch his head touch his eyes touch which kind of yes sleep were you sleeping that they brought your the locks of your hair. A man came into the house. Samson was sleeping. They put the first lock, cut off your hair. Samson was sleeping. They cut off the second one. Samson, that's how they cut the hair, cut the hair until they scraped your hair. Samson was sleeping. Kai, I don't think it's ordinary sleep. It is a sleep induced by the lap. Of Delilah. Let me say this to you. If you see Delilah, you can talk with Delilah if you wish. You can communicate with Delilah if you wish. But by all means, don't put your head on her laps. Did you hear what I just said? By all means, I don't want to tell you what I'm talking about. Sir, don't put your vision. Don't put your sensitivity. Don't put everything that makes you you. Subsume it in the place of her wicked comfort. Man of destiny. 
don't put your head on the lap of Delilah. Let me say this as I end. From where we started, Samson loved a woman in the valley of Sorek. You are here to break cycles. Don't ever settle for things that are below you. This is how I'm going to end. Samson settled for something that was below him. You are different. Kepando Sierra. There is a mandate on your life. You are the light of your family. There's a reason why God brought you to that family. Every day, the devil pushes it to you. Settle. Settle. You have prayed enough. Settle. Haven't you looked enough? Settle. Haven't you tried enough? Settle. You've done this for too long. Settle. I came to beg you. By all means, never settle for a destiny that is below you.